Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have a small little project on our hands and uh, I figured I would share with you guys. I have the utility trailer pulled in today and uh, we're gonna take a look at some maintenance here. I noticed this not too long ago, but uh, boards are uh, looking a little worse, especially the center one here. You can see, especially right there in the center, you can see where it's pressed down in and uh, yeah, that one's rotted. So it's rotted down pretty far. And uh, if you step on that, it's, it's really soft. You could probably go through it. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, change one of those boards out today. See how it goes, never done it before. See what I'm gonna get into. Uh, may have a few other boards here um, need changed out. Uh, I, think, I think most of them are pretty solid right now but uh, we'll go ahead and get this one changed out just because uh, it definitely needs it. Just looking at uh, how these boards are put in, there's a solid steel rail that runs across the back here. That kind of holds the end of the board in. And then there's some steel channels underneath the trailer boards themselves. And you can see they put a screw all the way across and that goes into that steel channel. And uh, I think there's space like maybe every four feet or so, you'll see a, a screw. And then up at the end here, we have uh, another steel channel. Um, actually, this is just a flat stock is all that is, flat piece of steel. And then that's screwed in all the way across. So uh, you basically got to take these screws out and then uh, that releases that end of the board and uh, gives you some wiggle room. The problem is these screws go into that steel and they've rusted solid into the steel. I've tried to remove some of them. You may have seen this one up here. The heads just snap off. I gathered up some tools here, as you can see. Probably won't be enough. We'll see what happens and uh, we'll have to get some more if we uh, can't do enough damage with these ones. I think what I want to do is start with these, uh, these screws, or at least the one screw up here at the end. Try to get that one out of that steel plate and then kind of just work my way down this board. Try to get all those screws out. Start with that first and then um, see what we can do with the board itself. I have my Torx head on here and uh, we'll see what we can do. Like I said, uh, best case, I guess it just snaps the head, but I don't really want to mess my bit up. I don't know if we can get a good straight shot on this, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah it, it just snaps them. Now the nice thing about it is it did snap it down a little bit lower, as you can see. So I think we'll still be able to pry that board out, but they're uh, they're pretty cheap, cheap one-time use screws. So that actually wasn't bad to snap it like that. Probably easier than grinding. So I think that's what I'll do with the other ones. Just make it quick. Looks like we ended up with one of them that the uh, top of the head stripped, so I'm gonna have to just grind that. The other ones, the heads didn't necessarily pop off. I can pop them off, but they are broken. So that's gonna allow me to at least pull that board up. So this one, I'm just gonna grind the head off of this one real quick. That looks pretty good. 
It took a little bit more grinding than I thought, but uh, we def definitely have the head knocked off of that one now. Next thing I'm going to do is, uh, well, I guess I'm going to drill, drill a hole kind of close to where these bars go across. That should give me something to pry on too, but if I drill a hole right here and then I can cut with the Sawzall straight across, I think that'll help. We're just gonna cut, cut the board. We got a chunk out. Let's see. This will pry through. It is pretty rotted down there, so let's see what it does. I think it'll. Uh, I think it'll pry right up. Oh, look at that. Well, that worked out pretty slick. Let's see what the underside of this looks like. Oh yeah. Yep, we're pretty rotted all the way through. You have a better idea what that channel looks like underneath here. And now the only part to get rid of is this front part. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh, there's actually a steel channel right there. They don't have screws on it. Maybe that one will just come right out. Yep, that was nice. Let's see. Yep, we can pry that one out. So. That was not bad. Next thing we got to do is get these, uh, these studs, what's left of the stud out. I went ahead and marked this board to 16 feet exactly. So I'm just gonna cut this end off here where I have it marked. And then uh, 
We should be good. So we are definitely going to have to, even though I can pry up on this channel a little bit, it's not going to help. I'm going to have to take these uh, last few screws out. Um, I'm just going to try to uh, take them out with this, and if it snaps them, it snaps them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take out these last few screws, and then this should allow this channel to come right out of there. I think it's gonna need a little convincing actually to get in there. Next thing we gotta do here is uh, drill some holes for the new screws. These ones I picked up are actually a little bit bigger, which yeah, they give you a little bit more holding power, I guess, if you can see them. That's, that's the new one. That's the old one. So definitely a little thicker, but uh, I think we'll be fine. We'll just drill some new holes. And I did bring out the DeWalt. Just a much better drill. So let's see how, uh, see how well this goes. Those screws are kind of uh, self-threading, but it's such uh, heavy steel uh, on this trailer that you really gotta give it a pilot. So we're gonna start small, get the hole just a little bit bigger, and then uh, see what it ends up like. So we're just gonna line it up here. I don't wanna hit the exact same hole, obviously, because that stud is still in the steel, so Chances of that are small, but hopefully we don't. Okay. That one went in nice and smooth. So now we'll get the uh, We'll get the screw started. So I'm actually gonna put some never sees on there. No idea if that'll help later on down the road if I need to pull that back off, but uh, I don't think it can hurt anything. So we're gonna coat this bottom here and some never sees. Maybe this will help it from corroding into that metal over the years. Maybe not. It only takes an extra second or two. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, there is one, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the uh, other ones here, and uh, thinking about adding, uh, cause they, they only did every other steel beam. I think why I'm at it, I have enough screws. I'm just gonna do every one of them. It gives that board a nice tight uh, fit and it's not gonna come up. So we'll show you here. We'll speed it up so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing in its entirety, but uh, here we go.
now that we got those uh, all installed, they actually went in pretty easy. I was surprised. They drilled pretty, pretty simple. Um, I was able just to use the two sizes a bit smaller and then went with the larger and it, it, it drilled just like, just like butter. So that turned out pretty good. Like I said, I did add extra screws. If you can see here too, one thing I did, they only put one screw in each board. So they haven't really cupped, you know, like some boards will, like deck boards, probably because they're a little thicker. But what I went ahead and did, instead of drilling straight through the very center of the board, I kind of staggered each one because they're only about, I would say maybe 18 inches apart now. So I staggered, put that one towards that end, that one, that end, that one up that way. You know, you can kind of see went left, right, left, right. Maybe that'll help if they do decide to try to, you know, warp or cup just a little bit, but that turned out pretty good. So uh, I know I'm gonna have to change some of these other boards um, probably sooner than I want to, but for now, um, especially since I have that screw there, that one's gonna hold that board real tight. But what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put the metal plate back on. I'm gonna put one hole there. And then the one that actually came out cleanly, I think I'm just gonna put that one back in, put some never sees on it, put it back in. And then that'll keep that plate on there. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that for a little while. I don't think these boards are so old. I don't think they're gonna warp at all at this point, but that'll keep that plate in place. It'll keep those boards from, you know, popping up too much or moving and uh, I'll be able to get that back out later, those two screws. And uh, that way I can drill new holes in each one of these boards when I replace them. So I think that's the best idea because I gotta take that plate back off and um, I'm not drilling new holes through these other boards and putting a bunch of screws when I don't have to do that yet. So one thing I do have to do though is um, I need to drill I need to drill that one out a little bit bigger because these screws are just a little bit bigger. I'll show you what happens here whenever I go to put this screw in. Um, I'll just use this hole as an example. So it does stick up a little bit. It's not completely flush like I want it to. So I'm just gonna drill, drill the center one out a little bit bigger because I know I'm gonna be using it for that new board. And then uh, that should allow it to sit flush then. So we'll go ahead and do that now. That hole drilled much easier. So, we should be good now just to go ahead and put this one down in here. Tighten it up. Yep, that's pretty tight. I think we're good for now. Um, like I said, I gotta change some more of these boards. Well, there it is. We got that one board changed, which was pretty, pretty rotted. Not a hard job by any means. Uh, did take some time. Uh, again, I've never done this before, so I don't know if there's any better technique, especially when you have screws that are pretty much rotted or rusted, rusted off. And uh, maybe I did put more screws than I really need to in there because the other ones did not have them, but it's definitely not gonna hurt anything. Well, at least not until uh, you go to change that board again later on down the road. But again, maybe the never sees will help with that. Well, there you go, guys. I got some uh, cleanup to do here. Clean some of these tools up. Again, I always use more tools than uh, you originally think, but I did get that board changed. 
I do have to pick up some more boards because I know I have at least one more that I got to change out, but I just wanted to show you the process. If uh, you found this interesting, you know, let me know. Comment, like, and uh, especially uh, leave a comment if you know of a, a quicker or faster way to change these boards. I've never done this job before, like I mentioned before, and uh, that's how I did it. So thanks, guys. I appreciate you sticking around, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.